If you watched our luggage tag video last week, I'm sure you know by now the great news that we have regarding our deep cut blade, that it cuts through chipboard. So we're going to do another project where we're using this cute handle and we're gonna use our Cricut Expression and we're gonna cut the handle. So let's get started on that. Uh, we have our tags, bags, and boxes already inserted in the Cricut. We're gonna go ahead and load our paper. And I might add, in case you didn't see that video, um, in cutting the grunge, uh, the grunge board, you do have to tape down all of the sides, otherwise there will be some movement. Um, we tried to use a brand new mat and that didn't work, so please be sure and tape down the sides. Then we're going to choose our settings. We're going to have a one inch cut and on the uh, tags booklet, uh, our tag or handle is on page 102 and we're going to do a multi-cut. We're going to uh, push our settings buttons and then add four because we do need to do that four times in order for to be sure that we have a nice clean cut. And then we're going to hit our whole option button and then the tag of our choice. And please be sure that your pressure is max and your speed is medium and you should be set to go. You have the um, tag on the screen and, and first I'm going to go ahead and cursor over and go ahead and make sure you have the deep cut blade also. You're going to have to change out that blade and the deep cut blade is set at six. And go ahead and press cut. Unload your paper, or your grunge board in this case. Let's see how nicely this cuts or comes out. I mean, look at that. Wow, that is so cool. We're so excited about that. Pop out your little holes here. We're going to go ahead and emboss it. And the folder we used today um, was the A2 folder called Polka Dots by Quick Cuts. And so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Put it in your folder. Put your A's and B's square. Make your sandwich. And stick it through your cuddle bug. And back through to make sure it embosses nicely. And you're going to have polka dots. All right, so after we get done with that, um, we are choosing to color this blue. So we're going to take our glimmer mist, set it on your craft mat, and we're going to spray two coats of the glimmer mist. We chose jazz blue. And we have dozens and dozens of colors of your choice. So go ahead and color that. You're going to do the front and the back. Now that our handle is dry, and I wanted to add that um, if you want your handle a little darker, go ahead and use a heating tool because I found that when I dabbed it with the paper towel, it kind of took away a lot of the ink. So I went ahead and used a heating tool and put a couple of coats on that. So let's fasten it now. We're going to uh, use our uh, rivet fasteners. And also, um, what I did was I took our crocodile and I, I measured the holes and went ahead and already punched the holes with my crocodile. It goes nicely right through the, the metal, no problem. So I'm going to take my male end, go inside the tin and push it through. Match it up there. Kind of give it a, a little press. And then we're going to use our crocodile once again. We're going to change the setting so that we can pound it together. You can also use a hammer if you don't have this tool, but this nicely fastens it. And this is what our handle uh, turned out to look like. Looks really nice. And we'll set this aside and we're gonna go ahead and start making our tic-tac-toe board.